On June the 28th, Northern Ireland goes to the polls to elect a new assembly. These elections may well alter the course of the history of Ulster. As election day approaches, campaigning is well underway. We find that people have a very wide knowledge of what the election is about and uh, most of our questions are really based on the white paper. Stanley Morgan of the Vanguard Unionist Party reflects what has become apparent in this election, that the people who need to know, know what it's all about. And this is to elect the new assembly of 78 members by just over a million voters. It's not surprising he has to work hard for his votes because his party is only one of 17 other parties or groups, all vying for the consent of the electorate. But this is precisely what is so encouraging about the general election. People want to use the ballot box to express their wishes. Roy Bradford, a unionist candidate. <laughs> the leader of the unionist party, Mr. Brian Faulkner, spends much of his time visiting constituencies to discuss campaign plans with his colleagues. Election campaigning is just as intense here as in Australia, the United States, Canada or any Western democracy. Many voters are in fact in Television is also playing a considerable role in this election. Conference table, where the people of Northern Ireland will have men there and women there, we trust. One of the new parties to fight this election is the Alliance Party. At their Belfast headquarters, close tabs are kept on the party's progress in its battle to win general support. Oliver Napier is an energetic Alliance candidate. But there are others here who are concerned with other things. They are not concerned with electioneering. They are concerned with ensuring that an election can take place, that everyone can vote freely. <laughs> <laughs> 